person voting is popular in, the, in this great state across communities. But we also know that particularly early in person voting for African American voters and other voters of color, they really vote in higher numbers that way. About 15% of the African American community voted early in person as compared to white voters in the state who prefer to vote on election day by a little over 4.3%. So there are some racial dynamics here too in terms of having uh, rules in play that disenfranchise any group of people is absolutely wrong and is totally, totally unacceptable. And Representative Clyde laid out everything that has happened in this state uh, last year for the most part in terms of fighting for unfettered access to the ballot box for all Ohioans. So since Secretary Houston's loss in the county's highest, excuse me, in the country's highest court, he has gone back to letting counties cut off early voting sooner than the law allows. It happened in May of this year with many counties ending early voting on the Friday before the primary election. And it's happening again this fall. Many counties are scheduled to end early voting next Friday despite the fact that the law requires boards of elections to offer in-person early voting during their regular business hours through the Monday before the election day. A word of an additional explanation about what happened at the federal court last fall. The court issued a preliminary injunction for that election, meaning one of the conflicting early voting statutes that ended early voting on Friday was put on hold. The statute had been left in place by the GOP legislature in all its maneuvering, and it conflicted with another statute that ends early voting for some voters on, Monday, on the Monday before the election. The preliminary injunction technically applied only to the November 2012 election, but the laws and the principles on which that decision was based requires early voting to be available for all voters through that Monday before election day. Anything less is a violation of the guarantee of equal protection of the laws in the United States Constitution. That case is still ongoing and the plaintiffs are seeking to turn that preliminary injunction into a permanent one according to documents from the case. Discovery in the case is continuing through this year and a trial should take place next year, again, accounting according to documents from the case. So the bottom line here is that Ohioans deserve a chief elections officer that will not make it harder to vote. It is very important. The ballot box is certainly the one place, the only place, where it doesn't matter your ethnicity, your gender, your social economic status, whether you lean red, purple, or blue. We are all equals in the ballot box. And it strikes me as curious, uh, dare I say outrageous, that the chief elections officer would use his power and his might to not allow and to not expand the franchise in the state. The voters of this state, the citizens of this state, they deserve much better than what they're getting. John Houston's one-size-fits-all approach to limiting ballot access is wrong. We should be making it more convenient to take part in this great democracy of ours. We shouldn't have minimums when it comes to voting opportunities, a foundation for fair and convenient participation, and simple and secure elections. That is the order of the day. Now some people might say that too few people will be voting this year to make it worth the expenditure for these opportunities to cast a ballot. And again, this is really about making sure that people have the access that is necessary to vote and that there are no off-year elections. And that mentality is part of what has gotten us into this situation, that the election of a school board member or a township trustee uh, member or a city council member or a mayor it's just as important as electing the President of the United States. And so we should have the opportunities for voters to vote every single year because it definitely takes that kind of teamwork to make the dream work for democracy to work. Voters need that kind of certainty and they need access to the ballot every single year. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Representative Chris.